All right, Marshall's ready, driver's ready. Let's get it on at the sound of the tone. And we're off, 21.5, C-Main. Mike out front, Cody in the two, Lindsey Charles giving chase into the three. They both worked their way, all three of them worked their way through that center triple. Looks like we're gonna get our free, oh, our leader gets it wrong. Flips it upside down. Marshalls himself pushes it wide going down the straight. Gets in the back of two. Lindsey Charles gets upside down. I believe that's going to be Cody in the one. Oh, we got hung up in the center triple. Help him out. Help him out. Lindsey moves into the two spot. Our leader pushes it wide over that center triple. That's Cody King. Lindsey in the two. Mike and the three. They're all on the same stretch of the track there. So you go down the straightaway through the S-curve. Cody King stretching out his lead just a little bit, pushing a little sideways. Gets out of bounds in that center triple. It's gonna have to be marshaled. Mike answers in kind. Lindsay to the front. It's Lindsay and Cody neck and neck. Everyone just drive, drive to work together now, work together. Oh, Lindsay puts it upside down. That's gonna allow Cody to go to the front. Lindsay blows by him in the S curve, then pushes it wide. That moves Cody to the one. It's Cody. Lindsay. Cody puts it upside down. Lindsay to the one. Mike moves into the two spot. Now it's Cody. Correction, it's Lindsay. Mike. Cody. So they come across the start finish. Lindsay out front. Mike in the two. Cody in the three. Minute 45 in. We've had several lead changes. Taking the top two into the B main. Lindsay pushes it wide, still stays out front. Comes across the start finish. Over the rumble strip she goes and down the straightaway. Cody Keene in the two spot. Mike flips it upside down right across the start finish line. Everyone's separated by two seconds. Remember, slow is smooth and smooth is fast. Nice, easy, clean laps is the name of the game here in the C main. We're at 21.5. Lindsay spins it around in the straightaway. That's going to allow Cody to move up front. Something happens in the S curve. Lindsay answers back. She's fast in that S curve. Puts it out of bounds, and that center triple has to get marshaled. That's going to move Cody to the front. Two oh five in, two fifty five to go. Cody out front. Lindsay is sitting pretty comfortable in the two right now. Two She's got an eight second lead on third place. One and two just needs to work together. To run. Oh no, Lindsay get upside down. All the marshals can't decide who's gonna go get her. Somebody finally answers up. That was kind of no man's land. It could have been anyone's marshal. Let's see where the gap is now. She did have an eight second lead. And that is now 3.2. Lindsay puts, pushes it wide. Spins it around by this back triple again. Mike moves into the two. See battle for that second transfer spot. Mike's in the two, Lindsay's in the three. Cody reaping all the benefits of the mistakes from two and three. There goes Mike by the start finish. He gets it wrong, has to spin a donut. Lindsey Charles moves in right on his heels. As they go down the straightaway, their gap is 2.5. It's going to be a lot smaller than that. Lindsey puts it upside down on the S curve. One minute left. Less than a minute. It's Cody, Mike, Lindsey. Cody way out front. Cody got a 12 second lead over the two spot. Mike's sitting comfortable in that two spot. Of course I said that about Lindsay and she lost it. So all it takes is a couple mistakes. Our leader getting upside down in that center triple. He's got nothing to worry about. Oh no, Lindsay hooks up a pipe. It's gonna push her back a little bit further. 
with less than five, less than five. Let's see if Mike's going to get back for one more. He is. And that is going to be a race when you cross the line. Cody's going to get that transfer spot, as is Mike. You two are going to be coming up here uh, in race number number five. All right, that is a race. That is a race. Cody King and Mike and Golia going to transfer up to that B main. Marshals, please it. grab your blowers. Marshals, please grab your blowers. We're going to need several volunteers for this next race. So we get several volunteers out. Thank you, buddy. I appreciate that. Up next, we are 17.5 B Main. All right, we're going to need several marshals out to the track, please. B main drivers, go ahead and roll them out. Check them in. Don't all go at once. Michael, Michael. wrong way driver. In the five, Alex Corbin Heath. In Eric the Zwick. four, Alex Singoglia. In the three, Eric Zwick. In the two, Mike Cocott. And our BQ for the night, Paul Weir. All right, straightaway is closed. Straightaway is closed. Everyone get in your grid spots. Everyone in your grid spots. All right, place your blitz, place your blitz. B mains are always fun to watch. Who's going to take it? We only got two spots and five year racing. All right, bets are closed, bets are closed. Here we go, Marshall's ready. Uh, we need a Marshall up here in front of the scoring stand. If I can get one right here, Mr. Bencourt, thank you very much. I appreciate that. We are going to be off here at the sound of the tone. Let's get it on, boys. It's Paul Cocott. Is that Zwick on the three? I don't know who is in that blue car, but Paul's out front, Cocott's in the two. Corbin moves into the three spot. There goes Paul. There goes Cocott. That's the one, two. Corbin in the three. Zwick in the four. And Goglia in the five. Corbin gets along, spins it around, moves to the bottom of the pack. There's Paul in the lead in that center. Triple followed by Cocott. They just need to work together. Oh, no. Cocott gets it wrong in the center. Triple has to marshal himself. Falls back a little bit, but hangs on to his spot. And here comes Eric Zwick. Closing in. He wants to get a shot. He wants to punch his ticket to the dance. Paul Weir's way out front with 50 seconds in. Still got a long race. Everyone's keep your heads down. Keep a cool head. Race your laps. Anything can happen in this B main. We are one minute down. Four to go. Watch the center. Watch the straight away. It is clear. It is clear. There's Paul going to that back triple. Cocott making up some time after that mistake. Paul with a 2.5 second lead over second place. Mike enjoying a 5.9 second lead over three play, third place. So first and second looking pretty comfortable. They're breaking away from the field. Alex moves up into the three spot. Zwick falls back to the four. Corbin Heath rounding out the field in the five spot. There goes your leader. Fear the weir. And the associated 
As he comes across the start finish line, down the straightaway he goes. There's Cocott, down the straightaway he goes. These two have been in this position before. They know they don't need to fight it out here. They're both going to transfer as long as they work together. Keep everything together. They're enjoying a hefty lead. Cocott's enjoying a 7.5 second lead over third right now. And that's Alex. Alex giving chase, looking to pick up the pieces if something should happen. Sneak into that two spot, possibly the one. And then we have Corbin Heath in the four. Eric Zwick in the five. Corbin Heath lapping up a spot after spinning out down the straightaway at the beginning. He's giving hunt to Alex. And it's Paul and Cocott. By a furlong. I don't even know what that is. But they say it all the time in horse racing. There goes Paul by the start finish. That is your leader going down the straightaway, boys. Thank you, Corbin. Two minutes left. Mr. Zwick, you're going to have the leader coming up on you shortly, right behind you. Well done, boys. Paul gets through. Looks like Cocott fell off a little bit. He's still got a 7.7 second lead over third place, however. 320 in, 140 to go. It's Paul and Cocott looking to punch their tickets to the dance. Coming up here later on in the evening on uh, the number eight. So they'll have plenty of time. There goes Paul by the start finish. He's five point seconds ahead. Uh, Cocott in the two as he comes across the start finish. Cocott stretching out his lead in that three spot. He's got 9.4 over Alex. It is Alex Zwick and Heath running out the field with 65 seconds left. Up next is our novice A main event. One minute left. Coming at you. Barring a disaster, it's going to be Paul and Cocott. It's like Cocott backing it off a little bit, saving his tires for that main event. He's sitting comfortable. Sh continues to stretch out his lead, as does Paul. Paul's got a 6.1 second lead over the two spot. Cocott's got 11.4 over third. We do not have a close battle anywhere on the field with 30 seconds left. Our closest battle is going to be between Zwick and Heath, and that's going to be a 4.6 second battle there. So nothing exciting to see on the field, but who's going to join 17-5 in the B main? Looks like Paul's going to be sitting nice in that eight, in that ninth spot. And Kokat's going to claim that 10 spot. Paul puts it upside down. That is a race, that is a race. All stop, Cocott got you at the line. You get that last transfer spot in the A main. Here comes Paul for his white flag lap over the roller and that back triple, double, single. Give it up for Paul. We're in the one by a two furlongs. All right, that is a race, that is a race. I'll stop, I'll stop. Paul Weir and Cocott, you're bumping up to that A. Up next is our novice A main event. The race is completed. All right, novice A main drivers, get ready and up on the stand. We're going to need some marshals. You B main boys, including those who bumped, you guys are going to have to hop on out here. Hey, Chris, Smyrna's, uh, he's, she's dead in the water here. You want to see if you can help her out? We'll give Smyrna a courtesy minute. One minute to the start of the race. Huh? Yeah. She's got, she's got power and steering, just no motor. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. 
45 seconds to the start of the race. seconds to the start of the race. All right, now to say, man, you guys come roll them out, check them in. Lily Pivis. Fifteen seconds to the start of the race. Alyssa Helmer. Less than five. All right, straight away is closed. Straight away is closed in the sixth spot. Dathan Harris in the five. Lily DeBoss in the four. Smyrna Van Wagner in the two. Andrew Nielsen and in the one. Our top qualifier for the novice class, Alyssa Helmerich. Hey, will you call the next race? Yeah. All right, boys and girls, this is for all the marbles. The last novice race on this layout. Let's keep it clean. We're going, uh, we got marshals. Yes, we got marshals. Driver's ready. Let's race at the sound of the tone. So let's out front, Nielsen in the two. Dathan made some bold moves there in the first couple turns and then gave it away. They're going at it. Three deep in the back there. Watch going on the straight, watch going on the straight. There goes Dathan and Lily and Smyrna. It's a three-car dance down the straightaway. It is a dem this demolition derby. Alyssa's Achilles heel is going to be making it through these three giants here. She makes it through two of them. She's coming up on Lily right now. And she moves cleanly around them. There's Alyssa out front. Andrew Nielsen looking good in the two. And then we have, looks like Dathan in the three, Lily in the four. Smyrna, Samara, sorry. I don't know why I called you Smyrna. Samara in the five. With her Traxxas rig. She had to bring out the pit crew to get her up and running here. Almost missed out on the main. Lily moves into the three, Dathan to the four. There's Lily and Dathan going down the straightaway. Dathan sends it in the weeds, spins it around, has to get marshaled out. Two minutes in, three to go. Alyssa hitches a ride with Lily. As she gets around the big tonk trunks one trucks one more time. Down the straightaway she goes. Looking good in that associated B74. She's the only buggy on the track. The rest of them are Traxxas. Traxxas beast. There's Lily and Dathan going at it. Dathan puts it in the weeds again. Carrying a little too hot off that straightaway. And it's costing him. He's making it up in different parts of the area. But losing another. Lily puts it on the pipes. There's Andrew sitting comfortable in that two spot. Samara takes the option line. 
Two minutes left. I turn a blind eye to it. There goes Dathan. It's Lily and Dathan still battling it out for that three spot. There's number two cross start finish. Andrew Nielsen with a minute 40 left to go. A minute 40 left. Stadium truck A mains up next. There's going to be a surprise entry. Showing up late for that two-wheel drive. Stadium truck A main event. Diego's going to get what he asked for. Oh, there goes Dathan coming in hot. Down the rumble strip he goes. And that tracks us with the Fox body and pink bumpers. Looked a little better off the straightaway there. Didn't go out in the weeds. Flipped it over, but marshaled himself. Alyssa comfortably out front. One Andrew left. comfortably in the two spot. Lily looking comfortable in that three. Then it's Dathan and Samara. Dathan got a two-turn lead on Samara. Andrew giving us a scare. I thought he went dead there. Did he still go? Behind you, Deline. Behind you, Deline. And that is Dathan that got it wrong. Samara stopping for a pit stop before she goes down the straightaway. There's our leader, Alyssa Helmrich. Down the straightaway she goes. With 18 seconds left, 18 seconds left. Our very own Paul Weir is going to be calling Stadium Truck A main event. With five seconds left on the clock. Alyssa is going to get by for her lap. Lily, you are done in the three spot. Here comes Andrew. Buck Wild across the start finish. He is done in the two. Here comes Dathan. Dathan in the four spot. And here comes Samara across the start finish. That is a race. That is a race. I'll stop taking the win. Alyssa Helmerk in the two. Andrew Nielsen in the three. Lily go by. All right, marshals, please head out to your spots, please. Probably going to need a couple of volunteers. If it helps, James Leffler is going to run his stadium truck, so that will be exciting for the marshals. All right, James, woo! Woo! All right, I need a marshal at six, poor four. Six. And then we should be good if I could get one marshal at six. Oh, I didn't even, yeah, I need one at two and six. All right, thank you, Chris. I see you not moving, Andrew, but that's cool. Hey, Andrew. One minute to the start of the race. Thanks for nothing. All right, I need one at two and six. Uh, ha ha, ha I knew it'd guilt you into it. 45, 45 seconds, seconds to the start of the race. race. All right, guys, let's get them checked in. We got our marshals. Let's get them checked Just in. Just Diego Bader. Now nah, I'm good. Mike Pollard. Thank you. Unless you want to go on the stairs over there, but. 30 seconds to the start of the race. race. All right, guys, let's get them gridded up. Get, get your lap in. And hey, we got Diego in the one, Mike Keller in the two, Justin Mitchell. 15 seconds to the start of the race. Hey, uh, your transponder will pick up, right? Less than five.
What do I drag? Sorry, I don't understand what you're saying. We got to do it for Brady, too. Hey, man, I'm a banker, not a race caller. Jimmy left. left. Brady, come back around, please. Come back to the start finish. Is he out there? Oh, you know what? I don't even. Okay, there's a reason why Brady's not checking in. It's because he's not here. All right, drivers, you know the rules. This is your A made for your two wheel drive stadium truck. Everybody get ready at the sound of the tone. Diego's out in front, started out in front, nice and smooth. Looking good through the triple. The middle triple. And that's going to put Mike Caller out in front with Justin Mitchell in the second. James Leffler right behind him. Diego bringing up the rear. I'm sure he's going to catch him, though. Oh, Mike Caller gets it wrong. Let's put Justin Mitchell out in front with James Leffler hot on his tail. Diego right behind him. Nice four-car dance as they head into the S turn. Ooh, James trying to stick his nose in there. Justin told him, not today. Oh, there you go. Just got in on the back triple. So they head across the finish line, head down the back straight. Diego upside down over the finish line, like stroke or ace. Better, make, better get on it, though. He needs to catch, him, catch up to James. James is getting away from him. James in the center triple. Justin right behind him. Everybody nice and smooth through that center triple. Diego, just breathe, just breathe. Mike Cowler doing donuts in the back triple. James Leffler out in front as he comes into the center triple. Double single for Justin. James, double single in the back triple. Four and a half minutes left, drivers. Plenty of time, plenty of time. Good job, Andrew. James in that center triple. Pulling away from Justin. Justin just waiting for him to make a mistake. James down the back stretch, way out in front. Diego's cutting it tight on every corner. Battles between Diego and Justin right now. Don't let him buy, Justin. Make him earn it. Stay out in front of him. Oh, man, you got to wait for him there. There you go. All right, now you guys go. Good job, Diego. That allows Mike Caller to catch up. Justin, across the finish line. Diego right behind him as they head down the back stretch. Mike Caller's not too far behind now either. Could be a good three-car dance. I don't know what Leffler's doing. Maybe he's just waiting. Justin and Diego cross the finish line as they head down the back stretch. James waited for him. Ooh, keep it clean, guys. Keep it clean. As Justin heads into that center triple, Diego not far behind him. Double single, double single for all three of them. Mike Callers not that far behind Diego as they head across the start line. They head down the back stretch. Going into the S turn. Good little race here in the middle triple. Double single for both drivers. Diego sticking his nose in there. Justin shutting the door. Justin hugging that inside line, not giving anything to Diego. As they head into the S turn, 
Diego gets it a little wonky, but I'm sure he's going to catch up. Justin and Diego, nice through that center triple. Justin cutting some good lines. Ooh, Diego sticks his nose in there. Doesn't open. Woo, man. Say rip down the back stretch. Justin left the door open for left. Diego. He might not be able to get it open, get back inside there. Diego may run away with it. Justin did, Justin did everything he could. As, oh, Diego makes a mistake. Get, get him, get him, get him. And James comes flying in. Oh, it's a disaster. Oh, the humanity. All right, Justin's still out in front. He's in the center, going through the center triple. Double single. Diego's got afterburners on. He's trying to catch him. Mike Callers catching up. James Leffler's in the four. Oh. Sorry, Mike. Justin heads down the back stretch. You guys got a minute 20 left in the six-minute A main stadium truck. Nice double single by Justin. Nice double single by Diego. Justin makes a mistake. James Leffler moves into two. Oh, no, Diego makes a mistake now at the center. It's anybody's ball game. As they head down the straight, James Leffler's in first. Justin Mitchell in second. Diego in the third. James, double single. Woo, man, Diego jumped right over Justin on that. As they head into the back triple. They cannot figure out that back triple. They've had it for I don't know how many years now. As they head down the back stretch. It's going to get tight. Oh, man, Diego makes a mistake. Justin not close enough to capitalize. As they head into the center triple, double single for both of them with 20 seconds left, drivers. Leffler leaves it upside down in the back triple. That puts Justin in front with Diego right behind him and Leffler right behind Diego as they head down the back stretch, headed into the S turn. Justin makes some good lines. He can hold him off. We've got six seconds left. Oh, Diego turns him around. Let's get it together. Oh, get, get Diego straight. Uh, Justin's going to pull this out. Diego's going to come into Leffler with the three. Good job, drivers. Good job, Diego. <laughs> and Mike Keller. Good job, guys. Great job. And that will conclude your two-wheel drive stadium truck for this evening. Special shout-out to Andrew. Thank you, Paul. The race is completed. Gravity wins every time. All right, 21-5, B main. Stadium truck drivers, need you out on the track. Need you out on the track along with several volunteers, please. All right, 21-5, B main, go ahead and roll them out, check them in. Roll them out, check them in. Chris Hens. Brian, Brian Davis. Davis. We're going to have a nine-car dance here. Alexis Helmer. Because Zach McConnell. Brady Seeker. Went home early. Chris he Van got Langer. sleepy. Reggie right, We got Reggie. Where's Cody King Cody and King. Ngoglia? Where are you guys at? There's King. All right, straightaway is closed. Straightaway is closed. In the 10, Mike and Gogley. In the 9, Cody King. In the 8, Chris Hentz. In the 7, Brady Seeger. In the 6, Reggie Shepard. In the 5, Chris Van Wagner. In the 4, Brian One Davis. The in the 3, races. David Delaney. Light, 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 light. Running cold. And in the 2, Alexis Helmrich. One spot's going to be left open because he did not make it because he went home. 45, 45 seconds, seconds to the start. All of the right, race. we need a marshal on the bucket, and we need a marshal on the back triple at the end of the back triple on cone number six, and one in front of the timing scoring booth. Thank you, Randy. We need one on the bucket. The Can we have races. one hop out on here and get the bucket? Here we have one volunteer out on the bucket, please. 
One volunteer on the bucket. So we can get this bad boy underway. 15 seconds to the start of the race. Kevin Gatton coming in clutch. Thank you, sir. All right, Marshall's ready, driver's ready. Less than five. Let's get it on at the sound of the tone. It's Alexis and Delene. One, two. Keep it clean through the first couple. Nice, nice work, nice work. All right. Alexis and Delene doing a little breakaway from the rest of the group. They're all gaggled together. Alexis gets it wrong, gets into Delene. Delene moves into the one. Alexis into the two. That allows Reggie to close in on him. He's in the three. And then it's a slew of cars getting after it. Delene out front. Alexis barely hanging on. Reggie. Hot on, her, hot on her tail. He spins that just a little bit. That allows Alexis to get out there. Reggie gets it wrong, gets in the weeds, gets into someone else as he gets Marshall. It is Deline, Helmerich, Shepard, Seeger, Davis, Van Wagner, Mc, not McConnell, and Goglia. And looks like Hence rounding out the field. There's our leaders, Deline and Helmerich. Looking pretty healthy out front there. They just need to work together. Manage their way through traffic. I'll do my best to call out traffic for you as you come up. Delane's going to be through that center trouble. He hooks a pipe, hops it over. Stays cool and calm. Alex, Alexis go through. Didn't push the issue. That's a smart move there. Alexis in the one. Delane in the two. They're just looking to finish one and two so they can punch their ticket to the show. Delene barrel rolls it, lands on his feet. Mr. Hentz, that's going to be number two right behind you. Gets around him, watch behind you. Oh, Mr. Bencore got it. Thank you very much. Alexis spins it around. Delene goes to the one. So now Delene reclaims the top spot with Alexis in the two. Reggie Shepard in the three. And he's got Seeger and Van Wagner hot on his trail. Reggie pushes it wide. Seeger gets around him. Reggie answers back. Reggie with the black, pink, purple wing and yellow tires. Him and Seeger get into it. They go side by side down the straightaway. Van Wagner looking to pick up the pieces. These two get into it. Reggie makes a nice move through that S curve. Takes the spot from Seeger. Seeger answers back. Goes inside. Now Reggie back on the inside. These guys have switched position. Every oh, and then Seeger gets it upside down out of the pipes. They were changing back and forth every single curve there. Van Wagner now is going to try to close the gap on Reggie. He wants to get a shot at that three spot. We got, I'm sorry, uh, Delane and Alexis coming through the, by the start finish. Purple car, that's one and two. Please let them go. Please let them go. You're going to have two right behind you. Awesome work. Thank you very much. Game on. Game on. Much appreciated. Alexis is in the one now. Deline in the two. Two minutes left. left. Up next is something. Four-wheel drive buggy. A main event. Someone gets it wrong in that back triple. Not sure who it was. Someone said it's me. All right, so we still got Alexis on top. Delene in the two. Delene just playing a cool, playing follow the leader. Mr. Seeger, that's going to be one and two coming up on you. Uh, Alexis gets around. Delene puts it upside down or gets it caught in the pipes a little bit. He falls off the back of Alexis, but he's still got a pretty healthy lead over third place. Reggie's worked his way back into the three spot. One minute left. left. Seeger's in the four. Brian Davis in the six. Cody King in the seven. Mike and Goglia in the eight. And rounding out the field, Chris Hentz. With less than 50 seconds, less than 50 seconds. Van Wagner's in the three spot. He's trying to make a move in these closing seconds. He's going to have to pick up the pieces, though. It's someone's mistake. Alexis gets it upside down. Gets Marshall still out in the lead. Seeger hooks it in the pipes. Reggie gets it wrong in the center triple. 
Everyone's jockeying for those final positions. Van Wagner's looking pretty solid in that three spot with 19 seconds left. Delane through that center section in that back triple. He is able to close the gap a little bit on Alexis. He's not going to try to do anything foolish, though. He just wants to punch his ticket, and they're going to do it. This is going to be the final lap. Less than two. Less than two. Alexis through that center triple. Yeah, everyone's going to be done when you cross that line. Here comes the leader, Alexis. Winning in style. Head over heels. Deline in the two. Van Wagner's going to end in the three. Everyone's going to be done when you cross the line. There's Van Wagner in the three. Making the best out of that last lap. That is a race. That is a race. I'll stop. I'll stop. Marshalls, grab your blowers. Alexis and David, you guys are going to the show. Up next is our 13-5. Four-wheel drive, scratch that. Our four-wheel drive main event. Drivers from that last race. Hey, Aaron, will you sauce me? Uh, yeah, we're getting water. Thank you, Rich. Water's going down. One minute to the start of the race. Forty-five seconds to the start of the race. Thirty seconds to the start of the race. Fifteen seconds to the start of the race. Less than five. Rich Williams. Williams. Jesse Adway. Adway. Joe Rickerson. Rickerson. Red Man, Man. Kyler, Kyler Cornwell, Cornwell. Sean, Sean Rogers. Rogers. Not gonna lie, the old Memphis Bell sounding a little rough. Hopefully she'll hold together. Six minute A main coming at you here. We got Sean Rogers in the seven, Joe Rickerson in the six. Jesse Attaway in the eight. Brent Mann in the five. Nick Payette in the four. Zach McConnell taking the scratch in the two. Rich Williams. And our top qualifier for tonight, Kyler Cornwell. Feel all right, Kyler? 
Yeah, you good, Rich? All right, uh, let's uh, straightaways close, straightaways close. Let's grid him up. There's Nick. Nick Payette. Payette. The nick of time. Nick's in the nick of time. So smart. All right, here we go. Four-wheel drive buggy madness. We got our corners covered. Marshall's ready. Driver's ready. Let's get it on at the sound of the tone. Jim giving Kyler a little good luck, Pat. Kyler shoots off. Oh, no. Rich William gets it wrong. Flips it over. Kyler Cornler spins it around. Nick Bayette's in the two. Jesse Attaway in the three. I will call you out as you are in the race. However, you guys will be ranked according to your class. Jesse Attaway, the only one running mod. Memphis Bell gets it wrong over that start finish line. Jesse Attaway gets it wrong going down the straightaway. Kyler whips it for the girls over that back triple. He goes down the straightaway. He told all his girlfriends he'll be running in the big show Wednesday night race in a hobby action. He said, watch me, I'm going to send off this track correct. Dedicating the win to, I don't know who. He goes down the straightaway. Nick Bayette's in the two. Nick Bayette getting his act together. Looking good with this four-wheel drive. The All-American Associated B-74. Kyler with the TLR 22X4. Everyone's getting around. Rich Williams gets the worst end of the deal there on that Marshall. Chris doing the best he can. Fortunately, landed on his side there. Trying to get him up and running. Nick Bayette gets it wrong. Right in front of that center triple. Jesse Attaway goes huge. With his mod power. And there's Rickerson by the start finish line. All right, right now, for our 13.5 expert, we got Kyler Cornwell doing a barrel across the start finish line. He's still in the lead. Nick Bayette in the two. Rich Williams in the three. Brett Mann in the four. Attaway leading out for the mod division. Rickerson gets it wrong in the worst place he can. There were several high-flying vehicles. Marshall had to wait. Rickerson says, you ain't lapping me, kid. <laughs> yeah, he let him go by there. He's got a big enough lead. He can handle it. Attaway in the one for the Mott class. Joe Rickinson leading out Sportsman. Sean Rogers in the hunt. He's in the two spot in Sportsman. Rich Williams is 4.8 behind Nick Bayette. He's going to have to put down some clean laps and hopefully and it's going to hope that Nick makes some mistakes if he wants to catch up to him. It was 4.8. Let's see where he's at when he comes across the start finish. He took off about eight tenths. There's plenty of time. There's still three minutes left in this six minute main. We were doing pretty good on the schedule, so I thought an uh, extra minute in the A mains would be nice. Feel free to tip your RD. For the extra minute. There goes Rickerson leading out Sportsman. 2.9 back is Sean Rogers. He's still giving chase. Rich Williams making some moves. Thank you, Joe. We're going to have a tight race here for second place. There's Nick Bayette and Rich Williams over the double ski jumps through that center triple. Sean gets around by the start finish line. He gets marshaled out. Thank you very much. Thank you for those who volunteer marshaled. There's Nick. Oh, Nick puts it upside down. Flips it upside down, and Rich Williams, patience pays off. He moves into that two spot. Kyler looking to lap the field. That's going to, Kyler, that's going to be second place in front of you. I'm not going to tell Rich to get out of your way. If he wants to, he can. 
And he does. What a gentleman. Kyler laps the field. 129 left in this six minute main. Up next is our 21 5 A main event. Twenty-one five A main guys, you guys are slow rolling it up here. There's a minute ten left. You guys should be spooling up with a minute left. Typically the standard, and there's not a soul up here. There goes to our leader, Kyler Cornwell, looking good with his Losi Ross speed ride. One Trinity seven. power. Kyler Cornwell, the youngster, coming across the start finish line. Kyler tries the Tokyo Drift off the back straight. Showboating for the fans. Rich Williams out in the two. Nick Bayette's in the three. With 26 seconds left. 26 seconds left. There is no real battle. Scratch that. Brett Mann is giving Nick Bayette a run for his money. Brett Mann gets around with the techno. Gets around Nick Bayette. That's the closest race, and this is going to be the final lap for those two. Everyone else keep going until the tone goes. Four seconds left. See if Jesse Attaway gets across. He is not going to make it. Man gets across. You are done. Attaway, you are done. Bayette, you are done in the four. Brent's in the three. Sean, you are done. Taking the win. Kyler Cornwell, Rich Williams, you are done. And Joe Rickerson. That is a race. That is a race. I'll stop. Marshalls, grab your blowers. Taking the win. An expert. Kyler in the two, Rich in the three, Brett Mann. Joe Rickerson, Rickerson on the top spot for the sportsman division. The race is completed. We're going to need all those drivers out on the track. Twenty-one five a main event coming at you next. All right, we need all drivers from race number six out on the track, please. All racers from four-wheel drive, we need you out on the track on a cone. All right, 21-5, A main. Go ahead and roll them out. Check them in. Mike in the 10, David Deline. In Rick the 9, Alexis Helmrich. In the 8, Kevin Lee Cornwell. Helmrich. In the 7, One to the Nick Fayette. Wrong in the driver. 6, Justin, Justin Mitchell. Mitchell. In the 5, Lee, Lee Helmrich. Alexis in the four, Mike Caller in the three, Andrew Menicosi in the two, Paul Weir, and our top qualifier for 21-5. The last dance on this layout, Randy Cole. All right, straightaway is closed, straightaway is closed. Thirty seconds to the start of the race. Hey, uh, Mike Cocott, will you stick your head in there and see if Ethan will call the 17.5A main? 15 seconds to the start of the race. All right, we need a marshal on the bucket. Is that you, Kyler? Are you on the bucket? Less than five. Nick Bayette. All right, we're going to need one more uh, marshal here on cone number six out the back straightaway. Is there a volunteer that will hop on out and do that? It looks like uh, Lindsay's going to hop on out. Oh, no, Chris. Oh, Lindsay's going to hop out there. Yeah, Chris, if you don't mind taking cone number six. What's that? <laughs> All right, marshals on your toes. Driver's ready. Thank you, Mike. Driver's ready. Let's get it on. The last 21.5 A main on this layout. Let's get it on to the sound of the tone. 
Randy Cole shoots out. Everyone's out of the blocks. It's Randy, Paul, Andrew, Caller, Mitchell, Bayette. There's a whole gaggle of cars that can take the win here. Who's got it? Who wants it? Oh, no, Caller gets it wrong. That's going to drop him back all the way to the end. That's the worst time to, to wreck. Oh, we got a gaggle of cars going on the straightaway. That was Delene losing the body. Rich Williams trying to get him up and going. All right, it is Cole, Paul, Menicozzi, Mitchell, and Nick Bayette. Alexis making some moves. Oh, Bayette gets it upside down, gets collect, collects Alexis. Caller earns back some spots. It's like some, oh, that was Bayette. Bayette broke out, Bayette broke out. All right, all right. We are off and running. Everyone is battling for spots. This is for all the marbles. Paul Weir still on the two. Randy Cole out front. Randy Cole, no stranger to be out front. The 21-5 does it. He rolls it over. That puts Paul. Paul puts it upside down. True to form. Paul always finds a way to let me down. Andrew Manicosi moves into the one, but Paul keeps the two spot. Stay calm, Paul. Stay calm. Mitchell moves into the three. Randy Cole down to the four. The coolest head is going to prevail in this race here. We got Menicozzi, Paul Weir, Mitchell, and Cole. One, two, three, four. Helmerich in a distant fifth. And then it's Kevin Cornwell, Mike Collar, David Deline, and Helmerich. Bayette taking the scratch. Thank you. Thanks for doing that. I totally forgot to ask you. I forgot Paul made the, made the transfer. All right, where are we at? Andrew's still up front. Mitchell looking on the inside of Paul Weir. Paul Weir says no. Nice marshal by, oh, Paul pushes it a little bit wide. Loses one position. Don't push it. Oh, nice. Nice move down the straight. Oh, let's see if he can make it stick. And he does. Nice move by Paul Weir. Hanging on to that two spot. Andrew Minicozzi over that triple. Center triple. And then it's Paul and Mitchell. Mitchell giving chase. We've got... TLR, AE, AE. Oh, Mitchell gets it wrong, flips it over, marshals himself. That moves Alexis, and Alexis puts it upside down. Mitchell takes the spot back. Alexis making a nice move and then giving it up. Menicozzi still in the one, Paul Weir in the two, Mitchell in the three, Deline moves his way back up into the, is that correct? No, uh, I think he might be down. I thought after you got that body put back on, he made some moves. Deline's down in the eight. So we got Menicozzi, Paul Weir, Mitchell, Cole, Helmrich, Cornwell, Collar, Deline, Helmrich rounding out the field. Watch the center triple, watch the center triple. All right, it's the battle between Andrew Menicozzi, Paul Weir. Andrew Menicozzi making his debut in the 21-5. Paul Weir is a newcomer to the 21-5 division as well. They are one and two. This ain't qualifying though. This is for all the marbles. There they go. They are nose to tail. Going down the straightaway they go. Paul comes in hot. Gets on the brakes. Smart move. Looks like Paul's got the pace, but Andrew's keeping it tight. Oh, Andrew pushes it a little bit wide. Paul moves it to the inside. Over the rumble strip they go, and down the straightaway. It's Paul to the one. Andrew Menacossi drops down to the two. Two minutes left in this six-minute event. Paul Weir's in the one. Andrew Medicosi in the two. Justin Mitchell's in the three. Lee Helmerk in the four. Randy Cole in the five. Here we go. Here we go. We got a race for one and two. Let's see what else we got. Randy Cole and Lee Helmerk going at it for the four or five spot. And then Caller and uh, Correction Cornwell and Caller going at it for, for the six, seven. Let's pick up our leaders. There's Paul Weir across the start finish. The equalizer may be lap traffic. Mike Collar, you're going to have one and two coming up on behind you shortly. Not quite just yet, but when you see them, please give them some room to get by. They've got a tight race going. Easy boys, easy boys. Paul and Andrew Menicozzi 
clip a corner, but they both keep it tires down. Paul Wheeler and Andrew both looking good in their vehicles. Paul with the 6.3. Not sure what tires he's running. Andrew with the TLR. Not sure what tires he's running. They are pretty evenly matched here in this main. They're both coming out of the booth for this main event. 33 seconds left on the clock. You guys are going to be coming up an upside down car there. That's going to, oh, that's going to be Randy Cole. Randy Cole ran into some bad luck there after doing some work and qualifying. Thank you for letting those two go. There they are, Paul and Andrew. It's a nail biter, 15 seconds left. They might get by for one more. Let's see what happens. Oh, Paul gets it wrong and cages it in the pipes. Andrew takes over the lead with five seconds. They're gonna get around for one more. They are neck and neck here, two and one. That is time on the clock. You are done when you cross the start finish. Paul tries it. Oh, Paul tries to gas him down the straight and he gets it wrong and flips it over. Andrew moves out to the front with a pretty comfortable lead. Barring a disaster, Andrew's going to take home the win here. And there it is. Andrew taking the win. Paul in the two. Good race, boys. Good race. All righty, drivers. From that last race, you guys know the deal. Set your cars down, come out to Marshall positions, please, Marshalls. Grab those blowers, blow off your area. You guys know the drill. The race is completed. We're gonna have our 17-5 aiming up next. We got some heavy hitters in this one. Oh, Paul, we're back to back. Bow, chicka, bow, bow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, we should have enough drivers out there, so. No worries, I'll let Paul get to his stuff. Remember drivers, track is not open, track is not open. Make sure we get all those drivers out to Mars positions promptly. Wait for our guest extraordinaire, Luffler, to get up there. And for Paul Weir over there. First time doing two cars, I know. Perfect. If I can get one Marshall in the center triple, yeah, can I get you in the center? Perfect. All righty, Paul, I'm waiting on you. My man. Now don't run. You're good. No, no, no. Walk, walk, walk this way. All right, let's for Paul to get up there, and we'll get this one underway. So as we're going to say, we've got Mike Kokon on the 10, Paul Weir on the 9, Dan Collinsworth on the 8. Diego on the seven, Leffler on the six, Rich on the five, Kyler on the four, Willie on the three, Kyler on the two, and on the pole tonight is Aaron Brown. All right, drivers, go ahead and slowly roll them out, check them in. Do William not break them in warm up. Aaron this is your 17 five. Amen. Diego Maiden Kerr, Rich Williams, Williams. Dan Collins Ward, wrong way driver. driver. Mike Coco. Fantastic. That's what I like to see. Like I said, guys, do not break them. Fantastic. All righty, straight away is going to be closed. Straight away is closed. Got to check in from everyone. That's what I like to hear. I like to see. Got all our marshals out there. Fantastic. Thank you, everyone. So just a reminder, going to have Cocon on the 10. We're on the 9. Collinsworth on the 8. Diego on the 7. Leffler on the 6. Rich on the 5. Kyler on the 4. Willie on the 3. Kyler on the 2. And Aaron Brown on the number 1. All right. Marshals, please look live. Watch your areas, please. Drivers, let's keep it clean. Let's keep it clean. You guys know the drill? All right, Marshals ready. Drivers ready. We're going live on the sound of the tone. And we're off to 17-5. Hey, Amen. Keeping it clean, keeping it clean. That's the name of the game. Watch from the back. Work together, drivers. Work together. Right up front, we got Aaron Brown doing his thing right off the bat between Kyler. We got a whole bunch of blue and white cars coming together here. Looks like my car kind of coming down through here. So we're going to have... Brown, Kyler, Willie, Kyler, kind of setting a gap right now. Leffler sitting back there with Rich. I think Paul's moving up there. Diego, Dan, and Mike. Plenty of time on this one. We've got six minutes. So right now in that blue, white, and orange car, going by the start finish line. He's your leader, Aaron Brown, followed by Kyler. Brown makes a little mistake there. Kyler going to kind of capitalize, but not close enough. So as your leaders go through that center triples, Double, single out of all your top four right now. 
All right, now Aaron Brown watches the center triple. Leffler makes a mistake. So Aaron Brown by the line, Kyler by the line. Willie, Kyler, your top four going down that back straightaway. Those are your leaders. Right now we're all following Aaron Brown going that center triple, double. Single actions out of all three of them. As I said, Willie makes a mistake. So I believe Kyler gets by. So right now your battle's shaping up right now. Aaron Brown, watch by the start finish line. It is clear. Watch come out of the straightaway. Thank you, Marshall. Look at that. So Aaron Brown got a little breathing room right there as a mistake happened. So battle's shaping up for second place between Kyler, Cornwell, and Willie. Your leader by the line right now. Let's see what the separation's going to be between seconds. It's going to be 3.3 seconds. So Kyler's got to watch come on the straightaway. It is clear. Thank you, Lee. I do appreciate all the hustle. Again, I do appreciate everyone coming out here at Hobby Action Raceway. Join your Wednesday, after, or Wednesday night with us and enjoy the last INS layout of the year here. Like I said, we'll be going on Friday. Track will be closed all day Friday. Shop will be open. We're doing a full rebuild coming up this weekend. So all help will be appreciated, and you can check on Facebook for any times and what we've got going on. If you want to come on and help, your leader coming through. There you go. We appreciate that as your leader. Aaron Brown, separation now between Kyler's 2.7. Aaron Brown making his way through some, we like to say, back markers. No harm, no foul. They are battling in front of him. Cocart, Diego, that is your leader. Thank you very much. We'll watch coming on straight away. It is clear. And Dan knows what to do as well. So, Paul, you're going to have second place up on you. You guys know the deal. Work together, drivers. We got 325 to go. 325 to go. Still got Brown on top. Papa Cornwell. Willie, your top three. The Calder, Leffler, Williams, Collinsworth, Diego, Weir, and Cocott. Work together, drivers. You guys know the paint schemes. Watch coming on down the center. Work together. Work together. Thank you, drivers. Nice and clean like that. I like it. Diego getting a little bit of bad on that one, but no harm, no foul. All right, now your man on the run right now is Aaron Brown coming by the start finish line right now. Going down that back straightaway is your leader. So we can catch up with the number two spot of Willie Smith right here coming down that back straightaway. Cornwall right behind him. Separation less than a second between those two. Then you're going to have Cowler, Williams, Leffler, Collinsworth, Weir, Coca, and Diego. Watch going on the straightaway. It is clear. So you're a leader. You guys got 235 to go. 235 to go, drivers. You guys know the deal. Keep the rubber side down. You are watching your 17.5 A-Main event. Coming up next, we're going to have our modified A-Main. Let's have them ready. Leader by the line. All right, now the man on, on the move is Kyler Cornwell. He's got a 17.9 hot lap. It's good to see some 17s out of these drivers. I know the track's been a little iffy lately. Drivers coming up on four down, two to go. Two minutes we'll watch out this center triple. It is clear. Work together, drivers. Work together. I appreciate it. Your leader coming over the little roller. Front side triple, double, single. Kokar getting a little loose. No harm, no foul. Pulls over. Thank you very much for that sportsmanship. It is appreciated. All right now, Aaron Brown. All right now, separation is 6.8 over Willie Smith. Caller in the three. Cornwell in the four. So close to battle on the tracks between Willie and Caller. Actually, Caller and Cornwell, I believe. Let's see if we can get these drivers right here going through the double or center section of the track, going over the roller. You got Willie coming by the start finish line. Caller coming by the start finish line. Cornwell doing a little, little cursive homework right there. Don't know what he was doing there. With 110 to go, drivers. 110 to go. It's the Aaron Brown show tonight. Right now, Aaron Brown by that start finish line. Second place driver going to be Will Smith by the line. Separation was seven seconds. Now down to 6.5. So, Willie starting to pick it up in the afterburns with less than one to go, drivers. Less than one to go. Race number nine, R2 on modified class coming up here next. Please have those cars ready. I know I have some back-to-back -back drivers. So, all marshals will be appreciated and welcome. All right, now we got 40 seconds to go. You're the leader through the center section, nice and beautifully and clean over the roller. Double, single, go a little wide right there. Good check right there. That's a smart move right there. Brown in the lead with 25 seconds to go, drivers. 25 seconds to go. Your leader through the center section. Double, single, nice and clean. 
Work together, drivers. Work together. You guys know the deal. You guys, are gosh, you guys are good. Less than five to go, drivers. Less than five. Whoop, we'll watch my start finish line. It is clear. Work together. Work together. There you go. As you guys cross the finish line, you will be done. Boom. Kyler, you are done. Dan, you are done. Brown, you are done. Taking that one. Wait out a few more marshals. Rich is done. Willie's done. Diego's done. Wait on three more. Watch by start finish line. Leffler done. Keller's done. Kokar done. That is a race. Marshals grab those blowers. Bolt off your area. Aaron Brown taking that one. Followed by Willie Smith. Ryan Keller. That's your top three. We got Cornwell, Williams, Leffler, Collinsworth, Weir, Kokot, and Diego. Run out our field here. The race is completed. As always, we friendly reminder, if you have any open tabs inside that store, please get inside and see the sales staff. Get those taken care of. It is appreciated. All right, we're going to get our two-wheel modified here. Up next, we'll let Leffler take on Mac. His throne tonight. And I do love the touch of the uh, toothpaste and toothbrush. Keeping it classy. I can't win at everything, but I can have the cleanest teeth. Yes, you can. <laughs> it's the only thing I can win. Thank you, Ethan. Hobby Action's very own, Ethan. Uh, again, if you have a tab open, go clear it out. All right, uh, two-wheel mod. You guys want to run backwards? Do you guys uh, do you guys want to you guys want to uh, go backwards halfway through the race, or do you just want to run it? <laughs> All right, go ahead and roll them out. Check them in. Aaron Brown. Brown. Two wheel mod buggy coming at you right now. In the five, Willie Amos Kevin Smith. Kevin. In the four, Jim Silva. In the three, downtown Aaron Brown. In the two, Ryan Caller. And in the one, Kevin Gatton. Jim Silva. Need a couple volunteer marshals. All right. Straight away is closed. Straight away is closed. We need a marshal on cone number six, please. Just one. Just one on cone number six. Grid them up, boys. Smith up there. We got Silva. We got Brown. We got Kevin Gatton. And we got Caller. Well, this is going to be a good one tonight. Star studded field here. All right, Leffler. You know the gig. Uh, we need our marshals to our spots. We need a marshal on cone number six. Cone number six, please. Yeah, that's Rich there. Uh, Paul's there. We need a marshal on cone number six off that back triple. These knuckleheads are going to get it wrong there. Guarantee there's going to be a lot of lead changes there. All right, gather around, gather around for the last A main of the INS layout before we send it off. All right. No holds barred. Marshall's ready, driver's ready. Let's get it on at the sound of the tone. They're out of the blocks. It's Gatton, Caller, Brown, Sylvie. Willie, oh Willie, Willie's putting it in hot. I thought he was going to get into Sylvie. If it was me, I would have. Gatton, Caller, Brown, Sylvie, and Willie. I believe this was our grid order. They go over that center triple. Everyone makes it. Willie pushed a little wide. Oh, Caller gets it wrong. Brown gets it wrong. Caller says, even though I got it wrong, you ain't getting ahead of me. Old man Jim, I'm staying up in the two spot. Gatton reaping the benefits, pulling out to the lead, but that can change. It's a six minute main. It's Gatton, Collar, Sylvie, 
Brown drops down to the four. Willie in the five in the hunt, looking to pick up some pieces if the TLR bros get into it through this center triple. Brown looks to the inside, can't seal the deal. Oh, they both bobble over that back triple. The TLR twins down the straightaway they go. Silva in the three, Brown in the four. Brown would prefer that three spot. We'll see what happens here. Still plenty of time. Minute and a half down to this six minute main. Down the straightaway they go. Gatton still out front. Gatton with a 4.1 second lead. Caller with a one. Oh, Caller puts it upside down. That's going to allow Jim and Aaron to get close to him. And there they are. Two, three, four. Down over the rumble strip. Down the straightaway they go. It's TLR, AE. TLR with the AE out front of Kevin Gatton. Caller and Silva get into each other. Brown takes advantage of the fight between Silva and Caller. There's Brown in the two now. Aaron Brown moves into the two. Here's Gatton over that center triple. And Willie's charging in the hunt. After Silva and Caller have a slap fest in the sweeper, Willie picks up the pieces, looking to loom it in the background, waiting for them to get into it again. Silva knows how to block his line. Caller's definitely got some speed, and there's Willie. Oh, Caller flips it upside down. Willie moves into the four. Caller down to the five. Oh, no, Brown hooks up the pipe, has to get marshaled by Hobby Action's very own Ethan. And there's Silva trying to close the gap a little bit. 3.05 left. Gatton still out front with a 7.2 second lead. That can end quickly there as Gatton gets it wrong over that back triple. Aaron makes a clean across. He can close that gap a little bit. He does, but then he rolls it over by the start finish. Has to get marshaled. That's going to allow Silva and Collar. Silva and Collar joining forces. An alliance has been formed to reel in Aaron Brown over that double ski jump. Aaron Brown, 50 50s the pipe, but lands on his feet. Aaron, there's Aaron Brown, Jim Silva, and Collar across the start finish. Two, three, and four down the straightaway they go. Right now, Kevin Gatton with the commanding lead with his associate at 6.3. Oh, I missed that. Caller reaped the benefits. He's into the two, Silva into the three, Brown into the four. This is pretty much what it was at the beginning of the race. Gatton by the start finish line to let me finish my plug for him. He's running the pro line. Rubber in the two, two Ryan Caller. The associated 6.3 on that AKA drip. And then Silva and Brown going at it down the straightaway they go. Now oh, Brown hooks a pipe in that center triple. That's gonna allow two and three. All of them. Silva puts it upside down, has to get marshaled. Brown's going to be right on his tail here with a minute 30 left. Minute 30 left. Kevin Gatton out for a cruise. He's glad I didn't stop it with a minute left to resort and run it backwards. We're not going to do that because I don't know how. There's Gatton by the start finish. Kyler gets around, puts it in the weeds, has to get marshaled by Kyler. Luckily, he had a large enough lead. One he could afford left. to make the mistake at this point with less than a minute. Silva's hot on his heels. 1.7 seconds back. Aaron Brown, 2.4 seconds behind Silva. And then it's Willie Emil Smith rounding out the field. Brown gets it upside down. He looks like the closest battle is going to be between two and three. Caller, Caller over that center triple. Now Silva over that center triple. There's Caller by the start finish in the two with 20 seconds left in this six minute main event. Our final main event on this layout. Thank you all for coming out. Appreciate the support. Thank you to all those who volunteered marshalling and appreciate you all coming out.
Make sure you have a safe ride home. And our closing seconds, two and one. And that is time on the clock. Jim Silva, you are done in the three. Gatton taking the win. And here comes number two, Ryan Collar across start finish. Everyone is done. Everyone is done. I'll stop. I'll stop. Thank you all for coming out. You guys want to do a backwards race? All right, line it up backwards. I can't guarantee your marshals are going to stay here, but the race is completed. Uh, let's see. How can I do this? Can I just do a false start? Huh? All right, I'm just going to time you for one minute. Off the record. Everyone line them up on the five. Everyone line them up on the five. All right, line them up on the five, line them up on the five. I'm gonna get a stopwatch going here. Oh, no, I'm not, I'm gonna do a timer. <laughs> All right, Diego is gonna give on your mark to set go and you guys are gonna go. Run them backwards for one minute. Jim Silva, Silva goes straight cheater. Ken says, I could cheat better. I'll just hop the pipes. <laughs> ah, Jim Silve out front. Jim Silve looking good. On his first, Caller looking pretty good. Brown tried to make a move. It didn't work out. Oh, nice. He goes huge. <laughs> Silve puts it upside down. Caller to the one, Gatton in the two. Callahan Gatton looking good to that center triple. Silve looking good. Willie in the four. Oh, Willie Lawn darts it. Let's Brown go. Brown goes nuts over the ski jump. Keep it going. Keep it going. I'm adding another minute because this is fun. Caller to the one, Silve in the two, Gatton in the three. Silve gets it wrong, tries to make a move on Caller. It's like Gatton got it wrong. Is Caller up front now? I lost track. Ha ha. Jim can't even drive good. All right, 30 seconds left, 30 seconds left. Caller gets it wrong. Jim Silva is going to try to make a move. Getting down for the count. He's back up on his lid with 17 seconds. Caller looking to lead it. Jim wising up in those ski jumps. There goes Caller down the straightaway. Jim Silva down the straightaway. With four seconds, this will be the last lap. You'll be done when you cross the start finish line. Gatton, you are done. Cal is Caller and Silve through the S curve down the straightaway. Caller airs the rumble strips, takes the win. Silve in the two. All right. That was fun. Now get your stuff and get out. That actually. That's actually, uh, that'll be on the stream here. So you can check that out. That'll be a little bonus. All right. Thank you, everybody, for coming out. You guys have been great, and I've been Jimmy Leff. See you all in a couple weeks after BK. All right, for realsies, track is closed, track is closed. <laughs>